Hi, I'm Antonio Castilla. We will solve an exercise cuts the selectivity of Castile-Leon in 2014. The statement says that, given the plan and side views of a part according to the method of the first dihedral projection in position draw the elevation total cut without hidden lines. Since lack of elevation, it is essential to be able to relate the left profile with the plant. Recall that the actions would take horizontal profile. They correspond to measurements on the ground vertically. No need to make any bow. And we orient ourselves from the axis of symmetry, taking and taking measurements from it. We will draw the full uncut raised first. It could be made directly the cut but that we will practice and serve to identify all lines. As training exercises for viewing perspective, we always start by acknowledging the simplest and most common forms. On the wall we see a circle, and to bring its diameter to the plant found that corresponds to a rectangle. It is a cylinder. To draw its elevation, we profile measurements and ground into a rectangle. We continue with the concentric circle to the first. Being inside must be a hole. By bringing the plant diameter corresponding to see hidden lines, confirming that is a hole. As before, profile took measures and plant. We obtain and draw a rectangle in dashed lines. Something we should not forget when drawing cylinders. It is placing its axis. We draw a line and point in their half. We spent another volume easy to interpret. At the bottom we see a rectangle profile. That lead to the plant corresponds with another rectangle. Then it is a box or cuboid. With the profile height and length of the plant, we get your elevation as another rectangle. But in this area we see also having a rectangular recess. That lead to the plant corresponds to two hidden lines. Since we draw a line profile, elevation in dashed draw being a hollow interior, we left the center. But to see the details I will bring the sites and descalo pare. Profile we see that the central part is formed by a sloping walls. And if we relate them to the ground, you must be very careful about how much to take. You cannot measure along the lines. We can only measure horizontally because we are projecting. Then we got a vertical line between its ends. And we obtain a horizontal measure that we can take to the floor. Thus we identified that the inclined parts are small rectangles of view there are lines above and below. But the surface goes from side to side. Then we must also consider the hidden lines joining, as it is blocked by the upper cylinder. In the interior we see a similar contour to the outside, and this indicates that there is a gap with that. To find out what belongs on the ground, we should measure again horizontally. But immediately see that the vertices profile on the ground they correspond with hidden lines that frame. This is how the whole piece. We will find its elevation again taking measures profile. And plant forming a new rectangle. In this rectangle the upper side should delete it. If the inclined walls were tangent to the cylindrical surface. But in this exercise is not tangent we must leave. And inside this rectangle, it has become a portion of the contour of the cylinder. We do need to delete. Since although imaginarily, consider the body comprises three parts, it is actually a single block. And some parts do not penetrate each other. Let's look closer to see the sights. How to draw the central hollow. Launch lines from the bottom, the contour of the cylindrical portion, and the apex. Especially do not forget to bring the contour of the cylindrical part for each of these auxiliary lines. 
We draw a dotted line to indicate that a hollow interior. We have the full elevation view. Although it is not necessary to make the cut, itself has helped us to understand what each line and the shape of the object. I recommend that an examination. The elevation view is drawn, even freehand, because once you have this almost cut out alone, we continue with the cutting of the workpiece. We ask for a total cut, and that is to cut the piece along the plane of symmetry. One could point out or imagine cutting profile as on the ground, but relate to the profile because, in this case, all the parts are lighter in that view. The first is to rule out the lines inside the outline view, and outer portions representing, why not make the cut, so the delete. Then we checked the hidden lines, to see if the cut goes through them, starting from the bottom. The first line we find is the bottom slot, and the court does pass through the slot. Then we draw a continuous line. The next line belongs to the central hollow, and also makes the cut, so that we draw solid lines. The next line is also the central hole, so we went to the line of sight, the line we find then, but also it belongs to the central hollow. It is not cut by the cutting plane to so delete it. The last two lines are the cylindrical hole. And yes we draw a continuous line to be on the cutting plane. Not indicated striped. Of those areas that has cut the plane. Let we are reviewing from the bottom. And the first area that are not scratch. Since the wall is not in contact with the cutting plane. The second zone, between the groove and the central hole. It scratches itself to be traversed by the cutting plane. The third zone is the central hollow. And it does not scratch when not in contact with the cutting plane. The penultimate is solid. And it is crossed by the court. So who do we painted? The cylindrical hole is left as it was. And the last area by scratches. This is the solution of the exercise. In a next video we will practice more exercises selectivity. A greeting from Antonio Castilla. Do not forget to subscribe, click on and visit me like